What's up guys, you have your boy Groobies coming at you from downtown Los Angeles. Today we're going to talk about the launch checklist for your e-commerce store when you're using dropshipping. So the reason the launch checklist is important is because when you are blasting your Shopify store for the first time and you're getting customers coming to your site, hopefully they're checking out, they're buying stuff, you don't want your customers to find any issues that might be there, be there, issues, be there. Instead, it's better if you can ferret out a couple of those issues up front and this checklist is going to help you do just that. All right, so the first thing you want to do before setting your Shopify store completely public is to do a test transaction. And the reason is, is because since you're drop shipping things, you just want to make sure that all the connection points are in place and everything's going to go smoothly. So when I say do a test or what I mean is take a product at random or a couple products at random from your Shopify store, pretend like you are a customer, go through the entire checkout process on Shopify, any issues that you see, it doesn't just mean like a bug, like an error, just anything that isn't like super smooth or that doesn't feel fluid to you, just jot those things down as notes. Um, so that's a really good test, just going through and making your, sure your Shopify theme is on point and everything's set up and configured. You don't want any of that like generic text in there that's just sticking out like a big old store, sore thumb for you to like get caught around. The next thing that you're going to want to do is go over to your Applique account and make sure that that order showed up in the orders page on your Applique uh, within your Applique account. Um, and that is basically a good indicator that the app is running, everything's set up right, it ensures that you've synced your products. Um, you, you probably want to double check like, hey, is that the right product, the one that I actually bought on my store? Hey, is that the right size? Everything looks good. That's like two thumbs up. That's a huge sign of confidence that your store is set up and everything is configured properly and it should make you feel pretty good about launching your site. So once you have that test order in your Applique account, there's a couple things you can do. You can either A, let that order go through and let Applique process and fulfill that order. It gives you a great opportunity to get a sample product as well as just see how the packaging is going to come, get a feel for the time frame and all that type of stuff. The other thing is, if you're economically challenged or budget challenged, contact Applique, shoot us that order number and just say, hey, this is a test tra transaction, can you please cancel it for me? We're always happy to cancel and refund you. So placing a test order can be totally free and uh, there's not that many things where you get a huge peace of mind for free. Highly recommend doing a test order. If on the other hand you have done a test order and it doesn't show up in your Applique account, well, that's great too. It's good to know that up front. And there can be just only a couple uh, causes for that to happen. One is that if you're using the private app version of the Pleek uh, dropshipping app, you should probably just delete that private app from your applique uh, store setup and just reinstall it. It won't erase any of your saved designs or anything like that. As soon as you reinstall the app, everything will continue to work. And just make sure when you're copying and pasting your store name and your uh, the three pieces of information you need, make sure to copy and paste it accurately. Most of the times, uh, the, the IDs just weren't copied accurately and so the integration won't work and we can't process orders for you. The other thing is you may notice your, a, your test order went into the unprocessed order section of your Applique account. That's super easy to fix. Just head on over to the payment method section of Applique and make sure to add a credit card. All four major credit cards work. Uh, once you have your credit card added, you can head back over to the unprocessed order section and just try to fulfill that order. As soon as it fulfills, you'll know that you have a working payment method and the next test order you put through, it should go directly to your orders tab and be automatically processed by a plea. So again, that test order is so critical. Highly, highly recommend you doing that. Uh, the next thing aside from a test order on the checklist is just review your saved designs. Make sure that the saved designs you have in your Applique account are actually the products that you want to sell. A lot of times we see people order a couple sample products from Applique, they get them, they're psyched about it, they want to go live with their store which is awesome, But they and then they uh, also upgrade their account and get their woven labels, but they forget 
to add their woven labels to their save design. So just a quick check of your save designs, make sure your woven labels are connected, they're tied on there. So when we're getting and fulfilling those orders, we know to sew your woven labels into your products. So again, a quick and easy check. The other thing that you want to check is within your Shopify account, just double check your products. Variants, you want to have your applique SKUs there. If we don't have the SKUs on your products, we will not know to fulfill those. Um, so just double check that. Also make sure that you've spent the time to name your products really well, write good product descriptions. If you haven't, really try to take good photos of your products, both lifestyle or flat photos. Those things all just make your brand feel real. It gives it that human element and if you launch your store and end up with no transactions, it may be because you didn't spend enough time up front uh, just preparing and putting that time and care into your store and making it feel really human, making it feel really personal, give it a sense of humor if you're going for the humor thing, be super serious if you need to and that's your thing, just make it be your thing. Don't go with the default stuff. It'll never work as you putting your own creativity into it. Next couple things, they're just quick things that you want to buzz through and check. Um, shipping fees, uh, just quickly Google applique drop shipping shipping rates. Check out all of our shipping rates. Make sure you set up your corresponding shipping rates in Shopify. Everything's done by weights. It's super easy to take the exact fees you're going to be charged in applique and just set up your shop, uh, Shopify shipping rates uh, in Shopify as well. Um, and get those things balanced out. It's really easy to pass on some of the shipping fees or all of the shipping fees to your end customers. So you'll want to do that. If not, make sure you've built those shipping fees into the cost of your product and make sure that when after you go and get a bunch of sales, you're getting the margins that you want to get. The next thing is just think about how you want to handle taxes. Uh, there's two ways a plea can uh, collect all the tax revenue and will automatically charge you for it. That's what's going to happen by default out of the box. You can also provide us with a California's resource seller's permit and we'll waive all the taxes for you. You can pay your taxes directly to the state of California. So either way you want to do that, it's just good to kind of make that decision up front and don't do it half one way and half the other way. It can just make filing your taxes at the end of the year a little bit more complicated than they need to be. And it's super easy to get that set up up front. It only takes, what, 10 or 15 minutes to send us your reseller certificate and get all that set up. There's one more. It's just double check under your applique account your shipping label and your packaging slip. Make sure it has got your company name on it, your address information. Really want to create a seamless experience for your customers. So when they're getting packages, you want it to come from you. They don't need to come from a pleek. It's totally free to white label your packages. So we highly recommend you do it. Those are the main things that you will want to go through before launching your Shopify store. Again, this is not everything. There's a ton of sales and marketing stuff that you will also want to do uh, to like pre-launch and kind of pre-sell some of your items before going live. But this is the essential launch checklist. You want to make sure you've checked all these things off your list uh, prior to going live. All right, that's really it this time. This is your boy Groobies over and out from downtown Los Angeles. I wish you only the most successful Shopify launch with your store. And uh, Shopify is a great platform. A bunch of our customers have been super, super successful in using it. So. Psst, if you want a 14 day free trial to Shopify and you don't have a Shopify store yet, you can scope the whole thing out for 14 days for free. The link is down below in the description box. Best of luck guys. Boy Groovy's over now. Peace out from downtown Los Angeles.